So if looking at this one, guys, um, we see we have the subtraction of two angles. And I, therefore, I can just apply this formula. So by working on this side of the identity, right, we want to make sure this equals sine. So what I'll do is I'll take in cosine of u. So one of the quick ways, if you do this, is sometimes students will get mistaken. So just label your angles u and v. OK? Just label them your u and v. And then we can basically, just by looking at the formula here, we can say that the difference is going to be the cosine of pi halves, which is our u, times the cosine of x. Now again, please make sure you understand this is u minus v. So u is an entity by itself. The minus is an entity by itself. And then the v is an entity by itself. So therefore, this isn't negative x. It's u minus v. And then we have to use the opposite sign. So if this is subtract, therefore we're going to add. And now this is going to be the sine of pi halves times the sine of x. And that is supposed to equal sine. Okay. Well, now what we can simply do is just let's try to simplify this. This is relatively simple angles. The cosine of pi halves, let's think pi halves here, that's going to be at 0. <coughs> Sine of pi halves is 1 equals, now obviously 0 times anything, and we're just left with 1 times sine of x. Hey, it wasn't a bad identity, huh? Look at that. Okay, So um, that is showing you, that's another way to at least show you guys that those cofactors.